Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Google Chrome browser issues on Windows 11 and Windows 10 system. Many users have noticed that Chrome often lags, stutters, freezes, or becomes unresponsive, especially when downloading files or opening multiple tabs. Sometimes even simple actions like dragging or scrolling don't work smoothly, which can get really frustrating. Now, there can be many reasons behind this problem. That's why in this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step solutions that you can apply one by one. By the end, you should notice a big improvement in your Chrome's speed and performance. First solution is, if Chrome browser is lagging or responding slowly, check how many tabs you currently have open. Having too many tabs consumes a lot of memory, which can make your browser sluggish. So, close all the unnecessary tabs and keep only the ones you actually need. If you want to use them later, you can always reopen them. Then the next thing you want to check is whether your Chrome browser is up to date or not. A few days ago, I was dealing with the same lagging problem. I tried all sorts of fixes, but nothing worked. Later, I realized the real issue was simple. My Chrome was outdated. As soon as I updated it and restarted, the problem was gone instantly. So here's how you can do it. Just click on the three dots at the top right corner, then go to Chrome setting, and then click on About Chrome. Chrome will automatically check for updates. If there's a new version available, it will download and install it for you. Once it's done, just click on Relaunch button and it will restart the Chrome browser and your Chrome browser is updated. Keeping Chrome updated not only fixes bugs, but also makes it faster and more secure. So definitely don't skip this step. Now, let's move on to the next step. On the left-hand side menu, you'll see the option called System. Click on that, and here you'll find a setting called Use Graphics Acceleration when available. If this toggle is turned on, go ahead and turn it off. Chrome will ask you to relaunch the browser. Just click Relaunch, and it will apply the changes. After that, go back to the menu on the left and click on Performance. Here, you'll also see the Memory option, turn it on, and select Balanced, Recommended. This setting will free up memory from inactive tabs and help keep Chrome running fast. After that, go back to the menu on the left and click on Privacy and Security. Here, you'll also see the option to clear browsing data. Click on it. Then go to the Advanced tab. For the time range, select All Time. Now, tick every box except for Passwords and Autofill Form Data. You don't want to lose those. Once that's done, just click on Delete Data button and let Chrome clean everything out. Next, scroll down to Reset Settings. If your Chrome has been acting up because of some wrong configuration, hitting Reset will bring everything back to default. This often fixes lagging or freezing issues right away. Another thing you should check is Chrome flags. Sometimes people tweak experimental features and that can cause problems. To reset them, open a new tab and type Chrome colon double forward slash flags and press enter. You'll see all the experimental settings. Just click reset all at the top, then relaunch Chrome. I will also recommend restarting your PC or laptop to make sure all the changes take effect. After reboot, check again to see if Chrome is running smoothly. If the problem is still there, the next step is to reinstall Chrome. It's simple. Go to start menu, then select settings, then go to app section Installed Apps. Find the Google Chrome browser, click the three dots and uninstall. Once that's done, you can reinstall Chrome by downloading it from another browser like Microsoft Edge or directly from the Microsoft Store. And that's it for today's video. If you follow these steps one by one, I'm sure it'll fix your slow Chrome browser and you'll notice the difference. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.